Okay, well, good morning, everyone. Bill Lester here with Hernando County Extension. And today, thank you so much for joining us in our lab here at our office. We have a very small lab. We do have a microscope. We have some other equipment for being able to diagnose different diseases and samples that homeowners might bring to us. So today, I just want to talk a little bit about a very common turf grass disease that we see an awful lot at our office. So this is a kind of disease that if you have a St. Augustine or a Floritan lawn or a Bermuda lawn, you may have a problem with it. If you have a Bahia lawn or if your lawn's like mine and is half weeds and half Bahia, you're not going to have a problem with this disease. The name of it is take all root rot. So this disease is basically a fungus that lives in the soil and can affect your St. Augustine grass and cause it to die. So we get calls pretty much all year long, much more so during the summer, a little bit less in the winter, and we've had quite a few phone calls over just the last few weeks because of the weather we've been experiencing about this disease. People have dead spots in their St. Augustine lawn. They don't know what it is. So some of the symptoms of take all root rot is it will cause your St. Augustine lawn to die. So you'll get a small dead spot that'll grow and grow and grow, the dead spot will start off tan and then turns brown, turns totally dead, and it grows in a generally circular pattern and gets larger and larger. Now this is the exact same kind of symptoms you would see if you had a problem with chinch bugs, or if you had a problem with either your dog or the neighbor's dog always urinating in the same spot in your yard, that will cause a dead spot in the grass. If you have a broken sprinkler head, that will cause a dead spot in the lawn Although that is not going to be that big of a problem this time of year because we've gotten so much regular rain. As a matter of fact, it's rumbling outside right now, 10 o'clock in the morning, probably going to rain again. So your lawn is probably not dying in spots from lack of irrigation, but during other parts of the year, maybe it's an irrigation problem. So for people to contact us and want to get an idea of what could be wrong, we probably need you to actually bring a sample into the office. So we ask that you look at your yard and if you have a dead spot in your St. Augustine lawn, look at the very edge of that dead spot. The area between, right between where the grass is dead and the grass is still green and alive and dig up approximately one square foot of turf grass from there. And if you bring that to our office, we can look at it under the microscope and come up with an idea of what might be wrong with your turf grass. So I have a sample here, and this is a good example of a poor turf grass sample. This sample is pretty well dried out. I was able to pick it up yesterday. We ask that you bring in a fresher sample than this. But what we look at uh, is we look at the blades, and like I said, this one's a little bit dried out from being pulled up yesterday, and we'll look at the roots. Now, normal St. Augustine turf grass roots are going to be long, this long or longer. They're going to be either a white or a tan color. So if we look at a sample and we start to see a lot of black roots, very, very short roots, or sometimes we'll look at a runner and for part of the runner, there are absolutely no roots. That's a good indication that you might have a root rot type of problem. So what we would do after that, is we would take a sample and we have a microscope here. We put the sample under the microscope and we have it showing on the screen here. This is what I would see looking under the microscope there. This is one of the runners from somebody's St. Augustine grass. And if you pull up a long runner, you're going to notice that at one end it's totally dead. As you track back, it looks a little tan, a little sickly. If you go back far enough, it's going to be green and alive. If you look halfway between the healthy end and the dead end, this is where you're usually going to find the disease. Now, it might be a little difficult for you to see, but I know if I look under the microscope and I see a St. Augustine runner and I see what looks like little tiny black threads on the stolen there or the runner, that is the actual take-all root rot. That is the fungus growing on your St. Augustine turf grass. What this does is it attaches to the runner and starts to suck out the water, the nutrients. It damages the roots that are gonna be down below and the roots die. So your lawn will no longer be able to properly take up water 
or nutrients and it's going to die. This usually happens in a small spot or a small area and then grows and spreads and becomes progressively worse. So if you do have take all root rot in your yard, you're thinking, well, what do I do? What do I go to the store and buy to spray? It's not that easy because take all root rot is a fungus that stays in the soil. It never goes away. So what you have to do is manage your lawn properly to keep this disease from becoming a major problem. You want to maintain your lawn as stress-free as you possibly can. So some of the different things for St. Augustine that cause a lot of stress, number one is way too much water. Now none of us can control how much rain falls outside and obviously if we start getting hurricanes and tropical storms and a lot of rain, that does cause increases in this disease. But it's very important that if we're getting regular rain, you don't want to run your irrigation on top of that because you're just adding even more water to what has already fallen already. So hopefully everybody, if you do have an irrigation system, you have a properly operating rain shutoff device, something that's gonna shut the irrigation off if it's raining or if it's just rained a few hours earlier. Otherwise, you may just wanna turn off the entire system for the summer. When we start to get into fall or a more dry time of year and your lawn needs to be watered, you can turn it back on at that point. Something else that stresses out lawns and really makes this disease a lot worse is over fertilizing your lawn. Applying too much soluble nitrogen to your lawn is going to really benefit this disease and not so much your grass. Because if you think about it in those dead areas, I already showed that a lot of times you'll have very, very short roots or no roots. Your grass is not able to take that fertilizer up. So what is going to take the fertilizer and the nitrogen up is the fungus and it's going to grow and spread and get even worse. And probably the number one thing that we see that causes stress to St. Augustine lawns is from cutting the grass too short. University of Florida recommends that St. Augustine turf grass is cut three and a half to four inches tall. And we, I speak with a lot of people and I ask them how tall, how high do you cut the grass? Do you cut it four inches high? Yeah, 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 we cut it four inches high. But unfortunately, when I go and look at lawns, I'll take a lawn. We have some of these rulers here that were put together by our Florida Friendly Landscape Coordinator, Lily Browning, if you want to zoom in on this, Teresa. This is a ruler that actually shows from zero to four inches. This is how tall you want your grass blades to be. So after either you cut your lawn or your service cuts your lawn, Take a ruler, go out there, and actually stick it in the lawn to see just how tall your grass was cut. And if I look at this sample, this is gonna come in well under four inches. I see a lot of lawns that are normally cut and maintained at about two and a half inches, and that is extremely stressful for your grass. That is gonna cause a lot of health problems for your turf, even if you don't have take all root rot. What happens is on very sunny days, your runners burn up, your grass is unable to grow. It just causes a lot of problems. So take my word for it. You need to make arrangements, whether you're cutting your lawn or you have a service doing it, to cut it at four inches high. You're going to avoid a lot of plant turf health kind of issues if you just do that. So I wanted to point out that University of Florida has a very good publication here that's all the information you need, including what I covered today and a whole lot more on Take All Root Rot. And I will post a link to this publication in the comments underneath the uh, presentation today for you to uh, take a look at. As always, if you ever have any questions about your St. Augustine lawn, your Bahia lawn, your trees, whatever else it might be in your yard, please feel free to contact us. You can call us. You can email us, you can contact us directly here through Facebook. There's a lot of ways that you can get in touch with us if you have questions. And I think that's about all I have for today. So I'm planning on being back here again next month with something else from Dr. Bill's lab. We'll put something else under the microscope and share with you about exactly what it looks like and what we look for when we're trying to diagnose problems and come up with solutions for you. So thank you very much for tuning in. And until next month, we'll see you later.